for my whole college career, so pretty special. Yeah, and we're five years apart, so we never got to race together in high school or anything. So it was a pretty cool opportunity having Dan doing a fifth year and everything. And the first time we ever got to race each other was in cross country, so I was pretty excited when we got to come back out again. <laughs> Were you guys happy to be in the same heat, or were you? <laughs> like, yeah, it was kind of a comfort to be in the same heat, and um, I mean, I wasn't really that aware of where she was at during the race, but just knowing she was in it, and I knew I had more confidence in her than myself, so it was a good feeling to be out there together. It seemed like y'all both had completely opposite racing strategies. You were taken from the front, and you were staying, hanging in the back. Yeah, I think it's kind of hard to know. Like, you have plans of what you could do with every different situation but I think you kind of just like once you get out there that's when you kind of feel what your race strategy is going to be and I think like Dan was more towards the front so that was her race strategy and I kind of well, we started out in like number nine you know so it kind of naturally shifted a little bit more towards the back. Did you warm up together at all or did you just stick with your own individual routine? We had, we kind of stuck with our own individual routine just because we each have like something that we do with the team and we both each had a teammate in there so that was cool but hopefully yeah. cool down together and everything. <laughs> yeah me and my teammate dressed up a pretty good like warm up routine so we stuck to that. Yeah. It's cool having uh, your parents here watching you. Yeah actually my dad's right over there. She's, uh, she takes pictures so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When some start listening that you were in the same heat, was that exciting or would you rather have like almost watched your sister and run your own race or? I think it was both, well, like Dan said, it like, I mean it's comforting to have someone that you know and love in your same heat, but it's also a little bit more nerve wracking because you aren't just nervous for yourself, you're also nervous for your sister, you know, you want, you want both of you to be able to make it in, especially in a prelim heat, you know, in a final it's kind of like we all go out there and do everything we can, just race as hard as we can, but in a prelim it's a little bit more nerve-wracking having you and someone else that you really care about and trying to get into. Yeah, it's gonna be cutthroat during the final, like I don't even know you, <laughs> I'm gonna... I mean, I got whooped in cross country this fall, so no. yeah, I'm coming back hungry. <laughs> no, I mean, I'm, I'm just hoping to have my last collegiate track race be a Remember, so. Yeah, definitely. My sister is pretty yeah, cool. yeah, definitely. Both Dan and my older sister Alexa have like set a good example of like that. I know some sisters are really competitive, but I feel like we're more like we care about the other one doing their best as well instead of a competitive vibe. And I think they've really set that tone, so that's been great. We get trained together in the summer and stuff. Yeah, we yeah, go on runs. Yeah, whenever we're like home together, we try to like, go on yeah. runs and stuff. So that's been really fun. Always having a training partner, you. Yeah, during like summer and winter, like our training isn't that specific, so it's pretty easy to just yeah. do it together. Yeah. Yeah. Christine, you have like fastest personal best, I think, in the entire field uh, from last year. Do you think about that <laughs> coming in? Like, is that, or do you just say, I'm in college now, so I'm a clean slate? How do you approach that? I think every season's different, and I think you just, I like learn new things every year, and I think I just go in trying to learn from everything that I've done in the past and just do my best, whether that's better or slower, whatever it happens to be compared to last year. I just want to like continue improving throughout the season and just run based off all the, the um, experience I've had in the past, I guess. And what's the biggest thing you've learned? Um, I think freshman year I just kind of learned how to balance like a high level of training and a high level of school. And also, I think I've learned to have like a little bit more fun in the sport too. Like I think having more teammates and every workout you have people that are doing your your workout with you. It like seems like college would be kind of more stressful, but I found it to be even more fun than high school running. Was I mean, was high school stressful to you, or was it just college? Was, it was fun in college. Um, I mean, like it's obviously stressful in like an exciting way, but um, yeah, I think college has just been a really a lot of fun. So I, I saw your dad taking pictures on the rail. Um, he looked a little nervous. Did he talk to you guys before your races, or did he give you guys any like words of encouragement? Yeah, this morning he sent us a really long text giving us like a lot of tips. And I honestly did think about those um, during the race, some of them. Is there anything in particular that you want to share? Yeah, I mean, one thing he told us is like wherever you end up, whether it's the front or the back, just stay calm where you're at. Like I ended up, I was surprised to end up at the front, but I was just like, okay, this is where you're at. Like, stay calm, you're fine. And then I think Christina ended up close to the back and I'm like, okay, this is where I'm at. I'm fine. Like so So I think uh, especially for me to just like him telling me to whatever at the end of the day to just be like know that you gave your all and you'd be happy with that, you know?
Yeah, he told us like don't forget to like enjoy these moments. They you know, they don't come all, all the time. This is what we work for and don't forget to like enjoy every every part of it. So. Thank Good you. luck in the finals. Good luck, Daniel.